I've acquired new evidence that leads me to believe it is the Skion itself that is in some strange way a vast library of information to rival even Alexandria. I am now convinced that if I can obtain it, I will finally discover what happened to my beloved Amelia. Oh, Pierre, you litter bug. Hey, what is going on guys, Dark Dragon here, and today I'm bringing you episode 5 in my Tomb Raider Anniversary Let's Play, and I know there's a cutscene coming up, so I'll be quiet in a minute, so that's the reason if I go quiet all of a sudden, um, and today we start the level St. Francis Folly, now this is a completely new area in Greece, and as you can tell, I am now fighting lions! Queen of the Jungle, oh trophy, but anyway guys, there's a cutscene. I suppose you're more of a dog person. Natla doesn't honor her contracts, Pierre. I'd move on if I were you. No, mademoiselle. Natla and I understand each other. I find things for her, and she rewards me handsomely. But you see the very thing she does. That is why you are not trusted. I trust my instincts. And that is why you are not second place. I am professional. I focus on the job, and I get paid. There's more to life than money, Pierre. This isn't life, mademoiselle. It's business. Your compulsion prevents you from seeing the difference. It hasn't prevented me from getting a piece of the ski on. How's business for you? Touché. So then, why don't we see whose compulsion gets them the next piece? Good old friendly races is then, chap. So, <laughs> so, yeah, so what is going on guys, Dark Dragon here. Today I bring you episode 5 of my Tomb Raider Anniversary Series, as I was saying. But today I start the new level and area which is Greece. And if you, for all that know this game and know Tomb Raider 1, everyone knows that this level, St. Francis Folly, is by far the hardest and the longest game level in the game so I was pondering on whether to make it one or two episodes but since this is going to be in parts and this part one is only 23 minutes long this is probably a longer half of it though so I decided to do two parts which will probably be the only level in the game I'll need to do that it's just that this pu there's a puzzle in this level I don't want to spoil it yet but it's really it's not hard but it, it takes a little bit of looking around and thinking and taking the right route and this is the first puzzle, this isn't the one I was on about um, it's pretty straightforward shoot the corresponding lights to that one so it activates the door but anyway I just want to talk, I just want to say something quickly um, if, if, for, the, for those who have watched episode 4 they know that it had no sound so I decided replay that level and record the cutscene at the end so I've up, I've already uploaded um, episode 4's cutscene again it's unlisted so you wouldn't have seen it but if you click the link in the description I might leave an annotation on screen as well just to make it easier um, it will take you to the, just the cutscene not any gameplay um, just the cutscene so if you want you can watch that so you know what's going on a bit more because it's I know a cutscene with no sound it doesn't particularly make much sense but yeah I decided to record back and so you guys know what's going on a bit more and now I've got to shoot two feet middle body and upper sword that's just how I remember things like that just I couldn't remember it in terms of dot 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 anyway I'm going, <laughs> I'm going way off topic um, I've hit a hundred subs guys and this it's got to be a thank you video I don't want to I don't, well, I don't want to sound ungrateful and say I don't want to say too much on it, but I know a lot of people say, "Well, 100 subs, that isn't much." But after having my previous channel, and I reckon anybody can sort of agree with me, say the first 100 subs is by far the hardest. 
in the first hundred subs is by far the most rewarding because I don't know it's just a massive milestone to start with and I don't want to sound greedy and, and to say oh I want a lot more than that I'm happy with what what I get I'm not after numbers I'm here to make videos for fun anything I achieve in the program process is just pure benefit and I'm not I'm not after partnership I'm not after money I'm here to simply have fun playing games and share videos while doing it and by no means am I saying I won't accept partnership that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying I'm not chasing after it if a time comes where I'm able to accept it then yeah possibly I will but like I said I'm not going to chase it I'm just going to stick to what I'm doing and make videos that I enjoy playing and yeah so it's 100 subs was not the only goal I hit I hit 5,000 views as well now that's pretty big I, I, you may hear me comparing this channel to my last quite often but that's sort of a channel that I can compare and 5,000 views is pretty big for 100 subs well it, it, it depends and you know like I'm not too bothered about numbers but I like seeing milestones and crossing lines and like oh that's pretty sweet because like oh more lines because I don't know milestones just I don't know if you hit a, a certain number it just makes me happy that you know my channel's growing at a reasonable pace and I'm happy that people oh, well hopefully people are, are enjoying my content from the comments on my videos people are pretty happy with it and I decided to push this ball in an orthodox way and shoot it instead yeah so I, I hope this goes and if you're new to my channel because quite a few, few people have subbed over the past few days and this is basically my Tomb Raider anniversary series uh, it's pretty early on I'm only I think this is the fifth episode even though I said it at the start I think this is the fifth episode so if you enjoy Tomb Raider and want to see more there are I'm always going to leave annotations on the top and I think I've made a playlist as well to make it easier for people just to follow certain series because at the moment I'm making quite a few series and some people may just like one series so I decided to make a playlist to make it easier for you guys to find but anyway this is the iconic St. Francis Folly this is the big big puzzle room and um, I could basically tell you the simplicity uh, simple uh, target of this and it's basically to achieve four keys to open a door at the bottom but things aren't that easy them four keys are hidden in four rooms um, I think they symbolize Greek gods the four rooms I'm not too sure I'm not Greek gods isn't my strongest point and these four doors are opened by these four levers so basically I've got to hop around this massive massive room to pull four levers then go into four different room where their puzzles are reasonably reasonable difficulty and this is what could take quite a while but and uh, this unfortunately this video isn't a live commentary for several reasons one I wanted to get the sound right because if you known from my previous video I just got an op well I haven't just well yeah I have <laughs> I just got an optical cable for sound and I just wanted to test it and see what like settings would work best so I didn't particularly want to go head straight into live commentary because in a way this is sort of a test even though it's a pretty long video for a test and um, also the second reason why it's not a live commentary is the fact that I knew this level would be really long and I was contemplating whether to do one just one hour long episode and that would probably be like I don't know three quarters of an hour probably around there I'm not too sure because I know I've done the longest the longest half of this um, level is this episode so I'm not too sure about timings but that's not too important all that is important is I'm killing bats <laughs> so yeah I've opened a few rooms I decided to, I went with the plan that I should open all the doors first instead of going to a lever then a room a lever then a room I wanted to get all the rooms open so it's just easier to hop through it all and this is basically one big drop it's sort of like a column this room and if you fall you're pretty screwed and I think I did fall a few times actually I don't know I can't remember uh, it, I, even though it was only yesterday I played this I cannot remember what happened 
so yeah, I sort of went off topic there. I want to thank every one of you um, for checking out my channel. Every person that subbed, I am very grateful. I just hope you enjoy my content and you know, give feedback and comment in you know in the term of comments because I love to see feedback in my videos. Like if there's anything I can do to improve or anything you particularly enjoy, then I can enhance it or work on it, etc perhaps not the best words to use but yeah you can see where I'm coming from I just like to Ooh. I'm just hoping the sounds are right because like the sound is recorded really loud so I had to turn it right down so I'm just hoping that the commentary um, isn't you know blown out the way by the extremely loud volume because the volume I'm I use Windows Movie Maker so my editing skills are limited to the very basics but you know Windows Movie Maker has done nothing well you know it does the basics and to be honest the basics are all I need all I need is a way to edit you know cut out certain things edit volume and that's about it and that's that's pretty much what Windows does Windows Movie Maker I'm not knocking it it's a good little thing and it's free so that's what that's probably the best bit and here we go entering the first room I believe this is Poseidon Poseidon's room and if you are aware Poseidon is the I don't know if it's gods or kings I'm not too sure they're Greek gods aren't they I don't know why I'm asking a question like that expecting an answer straight away I'm pretty sure they are I don't want to offend anyone I just remember Hercules that's all pretty much and he is and God of War that's Greek as well I think uh, anyway this is the the man of sea, let's say the man of sea and obviously this puzzle is water based and that is a fail swan dive and this is probably the longest puzzle on this level so I decided to take it on first to see how long it would take me and I remember this puzzle fairly well so I just got straight into it decided to work out the basics because it's all about well you'll see what it's all about so the thing about commentary is well, the thing about this game is I don't want to say stuff because I I know every pr I know pretty much every single section of this game. I know it pretty much off by heart. I've not played it too many times, but I just love the Tomb Raider series. And you know, I don't want to say stuff like oh I like this bit in a minute where da 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 da. da. I don't want to sort of spoil it and say what's going to happen before it does because there's nothing worse than someone doing that with movies and games really because. <laughs> I remember when I found out what was going to happen at the end of Modern Warfare 2 before I actually played it and that really annoyed me because campaign is like the first thing I do on games because like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 I, I made sure I played the campaign like right away I completed it on Veteran the same day as I got it I think or the day after and I hate spoilers pretty much that's the main thing spoilers ruin games and films so I try to avoid it and I know it's not in the same sense as in this let's play because you're not playing it and I am but you can sort of get the gist of it sort of I'm sort of muttering on now I should stop <laughs> so yeah the, le the as you can see the objective of this little puzzle is to get the water levels correct and I want to get that floating thing I don't exactly a raft, let's call it a raft and we've got to get that raft into a certain area on the top so I can jump on it but as you can see I need to adjust the water levels and move it around because then bridges are in the way of the platform it's sort of hard to explain, some of you might have caught on on what I'm doing but you know it's not the easiest thing in the world when I first did this puzzle it was pretty complicated because I didn't know what exactly to do but yep I am sort of moving on a bit. <laughs> um, so I just want to talk about a thing quickly. Uh, I'm wondering if I should start a new series where, like, you guys comment on what I see. And I know I don't want to copy people by doing that though. I want to have like my own sort of thing. And I know Call of Duty is my backbone, and I want to probably base it on that. And I probably want. I might bring back a series which I have on my new channel called Viewer's Choice and I know there's sort of a lot of them things around but basically Viewer's Choice is where like people comment on what setup I want to use and then I'll win a game of free throw with that and especially in Modern Warfare 3 pretty much all I'd play is free throw so that would probably work in well 
I just depends what you guys want to see because I'd probably bring that back and I've got a lot of series going at the moment um, Tomb Raider, Call of Duty random races <laughs> I need to record that actually with David we've been postponing that um, we already know what we're doing for the next race uh, I don't want to say anything but yeah I don't want to say anything I'll, <laughs> I'll just skip from that topic so uh, I've got Tomb Raider, random races dual comms with people I'm actually looking on my channel right now because I forgot what series I have going oh VGP that's another one various gameplays and that's probably about it and then I have like random videos like Call of Duty now and again so like viewers choice could be a series that I do it just depends if you want to see it because I know free for all is what I play majority of the time anyway and you know it's also a good way of trying new setups because if you guys give me like a really hard setup for example riot shield with a stinger and tell me to win a game of free for all with it like maybe I don't know if I'll be able to do that in all honesty even though I'm pretty good at free for all winning a game with a riot shield is really hard because I don't know, people are always spread out and you're going to get shot in the back but yeah you can sort of get the idea of just give me a random class and I'll play in it but anyway back to this video I have received my first key that is the key 1 of 4 and basically well basically I'm just going to get the others I think I do another room now um, I have no idea what the god was called of the next room I'm completely I'm terrible with names, so yeah. Go in to collect some keys to do. So these little door things are weird. They're sort of they're like the entrance to each one. But instead of going through it, you always have to go over the top, which is sort of weird. At least I got a decent amount of medi packs this time. I am playing on hard difficulty. Uh, not much, because Tomb Raider is more puzzles than gun combat. It's sort of there's not much difference in a way. I think the only difference between hard and medium is that the enemies deal more damage to you. But since there's not too much combat in this game, like I just said. Um, the main re the main way I would die on this game is from full damage, pretty much, or or fully or being trapped. And since quite a lot of the puzzles are or the jumping puzzles are quite a height, I'm pretty sure I will die quite often from falling. Um, I'm pretty sure I'd die here, to be honest. I think I did, because so I was messing about on the cube. Cube. Oh, it's really cold here this morning. I'm expecting summer to arrive pretty soon. Oh yeah, here we go. Fail. I'm, I'm waiting for summer to arrive, but it's just cold and gloomy in England. It's terrible. <laughs> Want to go out in the sunshine? Anyway, let's retry that. Checkpoint number two. Deja vu. And I know this hasn't been the strongest commentary in the world. I sort of. I must admit I didn't have a set subject to talk about in this video and I just decided to talk <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if what I've said in this video at all has made much sense oh, I've got a bit of a cold coming on no and here I am just looking around because this vid this puzzle is basically just like seeing what path is the best to take and well yeah that's basically it really you've got a f you've got a sort of plan your route before you do it because it's quite a lot of paths, different paths to take and I think I've done three or four levers and one or four rooms at the moment so I've still got pretty, quite a lot to do like I said it's a really long level this and I think I do one more room and that's the end of the first section climbing oh yeah I've got to give someone a shout out I completely forgot well I didn't forget because I remembered <laughs> but anyway I've got to give a shout out to well I don't have to but I want to um, I want to give a shout out to the creative gunman um, he has just started a new channel 
I will leave his link in the description. Um, he's basically started a new channel. Um, he does COD and Minecraft. And I know some of you may say, "Oh, that's something new." Well, it doesn't particularly matter if someone does the same content as someone else. All that matters is if pe people enjoy make content, they enjoy playing. And if that, oh, that door nearly got me. And if that involves the same stuff as other people, it doesn't really matter because everyone will bring their own twit like personality and twist to a video, and that's what people want to see, really. Oh, I dropped my mic. Uh, <laughs> and that's what people want to see. They want to see like I've said it quite a few times that people really like individuality. I've said it quite a few times that people copying other people isn't that good and there I fail because I thought I had to stand on the higher ones not the lower ones but then I learnt pretty fast that I got to stand on the low ones after failing a few times success see I don't know what um, this God symbolizes because there's a hammer and electricity. It sort of reminds me of four. It could be four, but a different version. Maybe the same version. I'm not sure. And now I do baz because the thing is, you got to get that hammer down without it actually landing on you, and well, making you 2D pretty much. And this was a lot harder in Tomb Raider one. Quite a lot of the puzzles were harder in Tomb Raider one. In all honesty. This puzzle is a lot shorter than the one I previously did. I just basically got to open a few doors. Well, not a few doors. I got to get a few statues in position to well get the key. Pretty much three statues, which is pretty simple. This is probably I wouldn't say the easiest puzzle in the game. Well, this not this game. This level. It's it's the second easiest though. So I remember on the first Tomb Raider, that electric thing, it pretty much one hit KO you most of the time, which was pretty annoying, because I was young when I played Tomb Raider 1, so I can't really remember too much of it, but I remember I died quite a lot from that electric thing. But I was a noob back then, so that's probably why. Hammer time. Oh, oh. One thing I do want to do though is I want to get another Moab, some more Moab gameplays. Yesterday I got I came close quite a few times because I was in a lobby. All I was running, I wasn't running specialist or support, I was running assault with hardline and just UAV. So every two kills I got a UAV, which was pretty good actually, it worked well. But I just ran out of ammo, which was pretty unfortunate. Because I was doing, I was getting like 15 plus kill streaks like three or four times in a row which does get pretty annoying but anyway guys this is the end of the video I apologize that my commentary wasn't exactly structured but hey I'll try and plan something decent for the next video and I hope you enjoyed this video I know it was pretty long so you know there is a watch later feature because I, I, I know people are busy nowadays and a 24 minute video is quite a long thing to sit down in one you know, in one sitting so I appreciate everyone who's stuck this long and anyway guys adios